No matter what you call her, abuela, grandma, nana, mama, nona, you all probably have war memories of some of her cooking. Mm. Well, today, Nona Elda is up with some of her recipes. And Nona Elda, she has some advice she's given away on TikTok because, you know, they like her cooking. You never cut the spaghetti with the seasons. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm stealing that one. Yeah! Or you do try and peel it apart and it just goes all over the place. <laughs> Nona's got more advice for us. <laughs> I'm gonna make a chicken soup. How to make good chicken soup? I take the breast off. You want a good soup? You're gonna put the chicken on the water is cold. And then once it comes to a boil, she says you gotta skim that gunky stuff off. Mm-hmm. And then she adds her vegetables. Celery, onion. Now we're gonna start the boil. You gotta put a low. Soup gotta take time. After she strains it, she takes out the chicken carcass and then she puts the veggies back in the strainer and mushes them in there. Yeah, ah. that's actually a great technique. A friend of mine makes an incredible soup and it's a very similar approach. It makes it so thick and so delicious. You know you need at least two pans of tiramisu because you know when the kids come over and the grandkids like Nick come over, she shows you what she puts in it. She's got jello pudding, she's got those cookies, she's got the whipped cream, the espresso, refrigerates it overnight. My grandmother, she was a cook for an Italian family and she didn't write down any of the recipes, like polpitone. She gets some ground beef, she spreads it out. Notice, no measurements. She just tells you, you know, you add your seasoning. She puts it in a frying pan. Oh yeah, to give a little extra flavor. With a little white wine and some potatoes. Yeah, she knows what's up. Nona Elda will be over on Sunday.